Hello again. Uh, welcome back by Alessandro and Abe. And um, we continue our uh, um, uh, episode, I don't know, <laughs> whatever, on uh, comparing pros, uh, on the reasons that uh, made us move towards Open Render. And uh, in particular, we want to compare um, simple examples in the processing ID and in the, uh, basically IntelliJ with Open Render. Mm -hmm. Okay? Um, yes. So you know we have here two programs producing similar output, mm -hmm. and just basically setting the size of the screen. Yes. And, and I already can see that you know it seems that Open Render on the side has more code yeah. than uh, what we have written yeah. in processing ID, and this is fair mm -hmm. because basically. On the left side, we are aware of everything that has been happening. Mm -hmm. So there are some import happening. There is a, a main function which is built out of an application builder mm -hmm. in a certain sense, and everything resides inside that. Yeah. Okay. While on the processing ID, essentially what you see on the left is done under the hood. Mm -hmm. And you as a user don't have to deal with this. Yeah. Okay. The processing ID... Um actually before running the program mm -hmm. converts the code into a uh, code that mm -hmm. you can run in java mm -hmm. so it, it it is adding some imports exactly yeah. it's just that you don't see it yeah which i have to say as a beginner might feel uh, less overwhelming mm -hmm. and it's welcomed that yeah. you don't see mm -hmm. what precisely is happening yeah so. or even this syntax here this is converted to a number yeah exactly because this hash sign in front mm -hmm. and yeah Exactly. So, um, as you see, the, the two syntaxes are a bit similar because uh, drawer.clear on the left plays the role of background mm -hmm. and drawer.circle plays the role of the, um, of, uh, the circle function. Yeah. Okay? So now I already see something that mm -hmm. on the l right you are coded the center mm -hmm. while on the left you are using some yeah. idiomatic... Uh, expression yeah. somehow. Yeah, we could point out here that if you look at these two codes, maybe this version, it looks a bit longer, but it tells you more mm -hmm. about, for example, you can see the radius. Mm -hmm. Here, the IDE, I didn't type this. Mm -hmm. it's, it's telling me that this is the radius and that this, uh, this may suggest that this is the center of the screen. Mm -hmm. um, and it works even if I resize the screen when if I do that here, then I have to remember to, okay, now this is going to be 300. And I have to know that this is X and Y. Exactly. So this is on the left, basically, we have a convenience method mm -hmm. for knowing the bounding box where everything happens and knowing its center. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's something that already at the beginning, uh, I think I would say it's a good... Uh, uh, example of how Open Render works. Mm -hmm. So it's filled with a lot of these, um, so I would say, a very uh, not abstract but very conceptual type of uh, encompassing stuff. Mm -hmm. You know that there is a bound. Most probably, you know that there is a center yeah. because if there is a bound, the bound has a center. Okay. Yeah. While in uh, on on the right hand side, you are left to define this for yourself. Mm -hmm. For instance. I would do on the right hand side to allow the scaling thing that you mm -hmm. uh, you did. I would define um, new variables from the width and height variables. Right. And for example, I don't know, center x mm -hmm. uh, could be width divided by two. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, maybe I cannot type that. No, you here. can. You have to type inside draw. I think. But I ha then I have to declare it. Here, but then I have yeah. to type that mm -hmm. here. Yeah. Uh, with is that I'm doing something wrong. Ah, semicolon. <laughs> well, I haven't used processing in a while. Well, maybe it's called W. And this I th this no. I think it's uh, no. Maybe width means that it's uh, uh, an internal variable. Mm -hmm. Or I oh, don't think it's just the color of an error, right? Yeah, maybe. Maybe it's just the color which got yeah. me confused. Does this work? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's red, but maybe it's the color yes, palette exactly. or something. So you would have to define for yourself yeah. the center. Mm -hmm. and, and you can see already that this is something you have mm -hmm. to do. Yeah. And uh, you have to remember. 
Mm-hmm. Um, while in open render, it's somehow o- already uh, uh, implemented this fact that you will use yeah. a box, mm-hmm. and actually all boxes have center. Yeah, that's one thing, for instance. But this actually this fact pointed out to a very interesting thing: the fact that we didn't know mm-hmm. if it was uh, um, if that was either an error yeah. or if it was an internal variable. Mm-hmm. It is something that happens more than often yeah. in the processing ID, yeah. right? And, and this is we were mentioning a moment ago of Mike that things are very discoverable mm-hmm. when you're writing here in IntelliJ and with OpenRNDR. So let's say at oh, least oh, I, I have, I have, I have. Okay. Sorry to interrupt, but I have an idea. I have an idea. Uh-huh. Can you tell me like the type of shapes that you can uh, at this moment, but just by using the IDE? Can you tell me the type of shapes that no. you can draw? <laughs> you have to know. You have like, to look how at do the... You, yeah. How do you know if you can uh, draw a rectangle? Yeah. You Maybe you type rectangle. doesn't tell me. If I press control space, I also... In theory, there's autocomplete, but... Ah, yeah. Actually, I think it was rect. Yes. Yes. Okay. Sorry, yeah. So, but, but perfect. Perfect. So, we know now that there is a function mm-hmm. called rect. Mm-hmm. But it's full of floats. Yeah. What are these floats? Yeah. You How, do I, know? The How do I know what are these floats? You spend a lot of time looking at the reference when working with processing. Correct. And, and also, well, you see a name here, but unfortunately, yeah. it doesn't tell you yeah. what it does. Even more, rect mode mm-hmm. tells that it's going to get an integer. Mm-hmm. What does this integer do? Yeah. Like if I put two, what does this mean? Uh, let's see. I think I think there's this option here. What's the I think there reference? are constants that are on the back that yeah. are tran- you know? Yeah. Yeah. I think you probably want to use often the finding reference. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um this uh this point is easier I find in open R and R because it's grouped in a nicely organized way. So mm-hmm. you know that anything that has to do with drawing mm-hmm. um is inside the drawer mm-hmm. object. And so if we look, now we see that rectangle, there is a function rectangle that mm-hmm. accepts a rectangle with a capital R. Yeah. R. Mm-hmm. So I assume that this is an object. Yeah. Or there is a functional rectangle that abs- uh, wants a corner, a width, and a height. Mm-hmm. And a corner, I assume, is a, l- a top a left corner, yeah. most probably. Mm-hmm. There is another function that, instead of a vector, gets an X and a Y, mm-hmm. and so on and so forth. Yeah. There are a function called rectangles. There is a list mm-hmm. of rectangles, <laughs> and so on and so forth. So, yeah. by looking, by just by poking, by probing the objects, mm-hmm. you will end up learning what's available yeah. without having to leave the yeah. framework. And, and this, I... for me, being a person that gets out of the zone really quickly, <laughs> it's very comforting. Yeah. The fact that you know I don't have to go somewhere on, or look online mm. and go to some forum yeah this is one thing we benefit from that is we discover most of these things of course you have to have us some basics but yeah. then you discover everything just by typing because you think oh what what do i what can i do with a rectangle yeah exactly and then exactly then you could do let's let's make a rectangle so rectangle. first of all how do you make a rectangle <laughs> okay we're going Jumping from topic to topic. Mm-hmm. But, but you see, again, this is exactly what we are saying. Yeah. The IntelliJ suggests to you that there are two variables, mm-hmm. X and Y, yeah. and a width and a height. Mm-hmm. Good. And, and it shows those values um, in those hints. Mm-hmm. So it, you can read that X, Y, mm-hmm. width, and height, so which is very readable. Um, and now we if, can... Uh, if we take this side for a moment... Mm-hmm. Um, uh, in processing, you do not have those objects representing uh, geometry things yes. like circle, mm-hmm. uh, rectangle, triangles, triangle, all those line segments. Mm-hmm. Basically, in, in processing, when you you just draw things and mm-hmm. they become pixels, mm-hmm. and that's it. Right. And you cannot so you don't ask have the geometri- geometric abstraction on yeah. top of it. Yeah. And why would you want to have mm-hmm. those abstractions? Why? Why do I, I want to have a rectangle? I want to have a rectangle because, I mean, I want maybe to compute its center, maybe to compute its area, maybe to see if a point is contained into a rectangle, mm-hmm. maybe to see if two rectangles overlap, I mean, even if mm-hmm. it's a bit uh, hard. Uh, I think overlap 
uh, overlap or uh, intersects. Yeah, intersects. Um, I want to, I don't know, maybe, um, can I rotate a rectangle? I don't think so. No. No, because it's an axis exactly. aligned Yeah, exactly. Rectangle. It would become a shape. Yeah. yeah. But you see that by just poking, you can look at the center, you can look at the area, mm -hmm. you can look at the dimensions. Yeah. For instance, suppose I need the dimensions mm -hmm. of this rectangle. I don't have to save them somewhere yeah. and then retrieve them. Yeah. Okay. You can get a position inside the rectangle mm -hmm. uh, um, by specifying two values between 0 and 1. Mm -hmm. So, for example, if you wanted the center, then you could do 0 0.5, 0 mm -hmm. 0.5. Mm -hmm. That's the center. <laughs> even if there is already a method for the center. Yeah. But, but maybe 1.2.2. .2. And then you <laughs> can also do things like a sample inside the rectangle. Mm -hmm. Probably if you do r.uniform. r.uniform. Yeah. With so even a distance to the border. Yes. <laughs> but the point, the interesting thing here, it's not that these things, I mean, okay, yeah, it's that these things are implemented. Thank you. <laughs> but it's more that we are discovering them by just looking at it. Yeah. But just, you know, thinking uh, mm -hmm. oh, how things might look and uh, just poking the object, mm. which, which is something that I find very uh, motivating yeah. to uh, learn new things. And mostly it has these tool tips, so yeah. uh, it explains what it does. Returns a random vector two point exactly. located inside a shape provider. Yeah, most of the time the documentation is well written mm -hmm. and you don't really need to go. I mean... I like the guide that we have on the website, mm -hmm. but that's really for the first week you're using it, for the first two weeks. I still use it. You still use it? Okay. Uh, me too. Me too. I still use it, but most because sometimes um, because I'm getting older, I forget stuff. Yeah. But most of the time, I just explore the code. And Maybe we uh, can quickly show what yeah. we've seen the reference mm -hmm. of processing, which is this. Mm -hmm. In this page, you have all the methods mm -hmm. that are defined in processing and right. the guide of OpenRNDR is this one. It's not organized like that, it's mm -hmm. more about concepts, mm -hmm. organized by concept. And yeah, yeah. This, this is something we will show in a moment, vectors mm -hmm. maybe. Yeah, exactly, uh, exactly. I wanted to show that I can control click yes. and jump to the source code. Yeah, so this, uh, I have to say, Disclaimer is admittedly something that might scare a beginner at, uh, mm -hmm. at the beginning. Yeah. I mean, a beginner is at the beginning mm -hmm. uh, because they might think, oh, I don't want to uh, bother with this. Mm. I don't want to look at what's inside. Yeah. And that's fair. Mm -hmm. It's totally fair. Mm -hmm. but, you often, but if you're not a beginner, a beginner mm -hmm. anymore, mm. you maybe want to do this. Yeah. And with uh, processing, it's a bit harder yeah. to... To, you know, to jump to the code immediately. I don't know no, how to do it. There's no, you have to download the source code, I think. I, now I control click here, I open, I, I don't know how I mm -hmm. can hide that. Uh, okay, we can leave it there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, um, I, with processing, you can download the source code and explore. Um, yeah, which, which though, it's admittedly a next step. Mm -hmm. I have to go somewhere else mm -hmm. outside of the environment. Yeah. While here, in this case, IntelliJ automatically brings me to the code. Okay. Yeah. So I yeah. find it useful also as, as a non-beginner because I can look at how things are implemented. Mm -hmm. Maybe I want to modify slightly this function and mm -hmm. so I can just copy it and add a variation to my program mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. something like that. But we also we can talk about modification of stuff. Mm -hmm. later, which is another thing that I find it uh, yeah. very useful. Okay. Um, Maybe a good time to pause. and Time to pause. What I mean, in this case, we have showed you how um, discoverable mm -hmm. over render is and how uh, IntelliJ uh, does a work under the hood, which helps you a lot when you use it, mm -hmm. and you don't get all this help when you're using the processing ID. Yeah. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. Good. See you okay. in the next episode. See you soon.